China plays a big role in UFO research and sightings. Yeah, of course, we have some of the most famous encounters in the U.S. in today's hearing touches on what could happen moving mm. forward. Brianna's on this story. She's here to talk about what this means for Arizona. I mean, are they real? Yeah. I'm so? the wrong person to ask. <laughs> <laughs> but I find all of this completely yes, fascinating. Yeah. The, the Pentagon's task force says right now they're investigating about 400 reports of UAPs, which stands for Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. Last year, they said they were looking into 144 reports. Arizona is cemented in UFO history with research happening monthly here in the Valley. It's the age-old question, are we alone? Is there other life out there? UAPs are unexplained, it's true, but they are real. For the first time in 50 years, Congress holding a hearing on UFOs and how important investigating sightings like this are, now considering them a potential threat to national security. Arizona does have a big role in all of this. Alejandro Rojas is part of the Scientific Coalition for UAP Studies here in Phoenix and says State 48 has some of the most famous unexplained UFO sightings in American history. He says one of the earliest documented sightings was in July of 1947. William Rhodes spotting what appeared to be a disc circling above Phoenix just one day before the infamous Roswell situation. It's one of the very first that is investigated in Blue Book that you can see in the Blue Book files. And it came with photo, uh, photographs. Then in November of 1975, a case that still stumps experts. My eyes were just riveted on this thing. Forestry worker Travis Walton spotting an odd object with his family and friends near Snowflake, Arizona, when he disappeared. The craft would have been hovering just off to our right, just less than 100 feet away. They couldn't find his body. They told the police there's a manhunt, and he showed up five days later. Walton claimed he was abducted and woke up in some sort of aircraft surrounded by human-like figures before blacking out and waking up on the side of the road in Heber days later. He and others have passed lie detector tests about what they saw and experienced, and a movie was made about it. Then in March 1997, the one so many remember. There they are, three lights hovering in the heavens, as captured last night by a woman in Paradise Valley. Finally, of course, there's the Phoenix Lights, which is still really one of the largest mass sightings of an object in U.S. In US history. Two different sets of lights, the Air Force claiming the second set were flares from an aircraft. Rojas says the hearing in Congress today cements the fact that the U.S. government is taking research and investigations like this seriously. Science has really adopted this idea that life has to be out there. The Fed said they want to get rid of any stigma on reporting UFOs or UAPs. They want pilots to report sightings and encourage pictures and videos to be taken of them. Research continues here in Arizona. This weekend, the Phoenix chapter of the Mutual UFO Network has a meeting in Tempe with experts on triangular UFO cases and insights. So, Jamie, get it? Aliens, UFOs, what do you I think? Mean, <laughs> why not? Who knows what's out there? I think they exist. Yeah, yeah somewhere. Th but that's I mean, the thing. Are we ever going to get an official solid answer on if they are Probably real not. Or not. I don't we're think alive, we're, but we can have as many conventions as we, yeah. we want. <laughs> Brianna, thank you. But we you. still got to go to that convention, though. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's